Hi everybody, my name is James, I'm from Copper Candle, and I'm going to show you Q29, which is a plugin for Unreal Engine that we've developed that allows a lighting desk to talk to Unreal and treat it like it's its own media server. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up a, a queue and we should start to see objects appearing in the space. These objects have all been imported by, uh, by me into the static meshes library. Uh, so here we go, Victorian. All of these meshes were imported, they're from Kitbash 3D. I've just given them all the prefix of a, a number, which we can call up from the lighting desk. And then we can take complete control of the scene. So I can change the, the sky sphere to change the color, yeah, the sunset, change the clouds. I can change the camera position. I can change all of the objects. So I've only got 36 Q29 objects loaded here. Uh, you can see them in here in the static mesh, one through, tw one through 36. I'm only using the first dozen or so in this scene. Those same dozen Q29 objects are going to change into a completely different objects now for a completely different environment. So we can really quickly change our world, change our camera views, we can change our lighting by using all the pre-programmed presets and cues inside the lighting desk. Now this is really powerful for anyone that knows how to use a lighting desk. Uh, you'll know that in live events we can control hundreds of thousands of parameters in seconds by using the powerful user interface that a lighting desk gives you. So I can quickly grab something, so I'm going to grab this light here. I've got a little HUD on a macro which means I can see it. Uh, I can move it around in my scene. I can change its colour. So we can really quickly start to operate and move this scene around. Um, I could bring another light in, so I'm going to choose another point light. Recall from point light 2, load it up, and now I've got a second one that I can move around. There it is. So just that quickly I can start to really manipulate things in the scene. I can just put it back though I wanted to just by sneaking it back. That's a feature of this lighting desk. And we can do some nice cinematic fades and changes. We can use depth of field and all the features the cinematic camera would normally give you. Great for virtual production and XR stages where you want to change your environment. Now a new scene, I've got some fantasy objects here, and you can see each of these objects individually are loaded into my, my meshes folder. I can load up our default material, which allows us to change its transparency and opacity, but these are also things that you could command yourself by programming it in using our components that we've already made for you. And there we go, we've got a whole scene there. Let's go and have a look a bit closer. I've got some uh, some rectangular lights, some, some rec lights, which we uh, also know as area lights, being used to light some of these, um, these windows. Let's go a bit closer, have a look. So you can get right into some of the detail of the of the set. See how we can bring the scene to life a bit. Um, I can just grab some of my lights. So let's just grab my directional light here. I can make it brighter and darker. Um, we can change its color again. I can change its orientation. So we can change the direction that the light's pointing from. Um, any of these lights, if I just select any of my lights here, all light actors, I can just turn them all off, turn them all on, make them brighter. Sneak it back, go to the next queue. Let's go have a look at something else. Let's have a look at um, the scene when it's got uh, depth of field applied to the camera. So we can go right into the, um, into, yeah, the depth of the scene and apply a depth of field component which will bring anything that's in the foreground into sharp focus, anything in the background into, into soft focus. You see that the foreground now in focus. Bringing it round, keeping that depth of field in and at the end uh, after the sky sphere has changed back to a sunny scene we're going to go back to um, our daytime. There we go. Now if you just bring this in closer, you can see we can really easily manipulate the, the objects. Uh, I've got a library already built with all of my objects already laid out. So I'm going to select Fixture 22, which happens to be this building here. I can move it around. Let's say the director wants to change this. Let's make it a different market. There we go. I'll change it to something different. I've got preloaded. I can select any of these from our um, object directory just by changing my encoder wheel. But, you know, I built them all as presets here. I can uh, spin it around so we can... We can put it in the right place, choose where you want it. We can then copy something from it. This is called 23 from 22. There we go. Now I've got a second one. Let's bring that over. It's so quick and easy to be able to manipulate things into Unreal Engine. Let's change what we want that to be. There we go. So now I'm building a scene really quickly. And that's the power of Q29 is that on site, when you need to deliver something really quickly in Unreal Engine, you don't need to go into it. This can all run in play mode or in editor. So if you want to know more about Q29, please get in touch with me, james at coppercandle.co.uk and um, have a look at our demos on the website and, uh, and get in touch to get an evaluation dongle so you can have a go yourself.